my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive the sacrifice of thy hands to the praise and glory of his name, your good and abundant Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church. <clears throat> Almighty and ever living God, by thy holy apostles taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men. We humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our alms and oblations, and to receive these our prayers, which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord. Grant that all those who do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word <coughs> and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Your grace, O Heavenly Father, through all bishops, especially Shane, Brian, Stephen, Lewis, Walter, Paul, Mark, Francis, Bartholomew, Alexi, William, all priests, especially this time, worthy servant, and all deacons that they may, both by the life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we must humbly beseech thee thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. We pray especially for Alex, Bill, Priest, Bayle, Chris, Craig, Darlene, David, Jeff, Deborah, Eleanor, Gary, George, Greg, Inga, Jeff, Joe, John, John, Karen, Kate, Kevin, Kyle, Lanny, Lori, Levon, Linda, Logan, Lewis, Marjorie, Maureen, Megan, Michelle, Miranda, Natasha, Norma, Pat, Patrick, Paul, Peter, Rex, Robert, Priest, Rising Sun, Sarah, Sandy, Seth, Drewy, Steve, Susie, Susie, Tamara, Terry, Teresa, Tiffany, Tom, Verna, Vera, our U.S. military, especially Edmund, Jason, Joshua, and Justin, all victims of terrorism, oppression, starvation around the world, especially the people of North Korea, Venezuela, Zimbabwe, Iran, and the Congo, all victims of the coronavirus and all victims of the 9-11-2001 terrorist attacks. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy service departed this life in thy faith and fear, beseeching to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace so to follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant us, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. You who truly and earnestly repent of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbors and tend to lead a new life following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways. Draw in with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort and make your humble confession to Almighty God, devoutly kneeling. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men. We acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grieve us unto us, the burden of them is all our Lord. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father, for thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee the news of life, the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy and promise forgiveness of sins, to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Savior Christ said that you all truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. 
Though God loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, to the end that all who believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Here also what St. Paul said, This is a true saying, worthy of all men to be received, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Here also what St. John said, If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. The Lord be with you. Supper, he took the cup. And when he given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it, in remembrance of me. of thy duly beloved Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty. With these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits brought unto us 
by the same. But most humbly beseech you, merciful Father, to hear us. And of thy almighty goodness, God take you blessed, sanctified with thy word and Holy Spirit, these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, holy and seducing, and remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching you to grant, that by the merits and the death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. <coughs> Here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls, and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee, that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction, and made one body with him, that he may dwell in us, and we in him. Remember also, O Lord, thy servants and handmaidens, who have gone before us with the sign of faith, and our grasp in the sleep of peace. To these, O Lord, and to all who rest in Christ, we seek to grant a place of refreshing, of life, and of peace. About to take grant unto us sinners, <clears throat> trusting in the multitude of thy mercy. Some portion of fellowship with thy holy apostles and martyrs, with John, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Rosalinus, Peter, Felicity, Death, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and with all thy saints, within whose company we beseech thee to admit us. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service. Command these our oblations by the ministry of thy holy angels to be brought up into the holy tabernacle before the sight of thy divine majesty. Not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. <clears throat> by whom, and with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, our honor and glory be unto thee. O Father, almighty world without end. Now, as our Savior Christ hath commanded and taught us, we are bold to say,
not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercy. We are not worthy so much to gather up the crumbs of thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always our mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed with the most precious blood, and that we may have more glory than him, and he in us. Amen. See the bread of the cross in the name of the Lord. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who taketh away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy of thou shalt come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, preserve thy body and
Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, we most heartily thank thee for the doubt that Father may keep thee us who have duly received these old ministry with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And thus assure us that we are thy favor and goodness towards us. And that we are very members and corporate in the mystical body of thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people. And are also heirs to the hope of the grand and kingdom. I, the Americans, is most precious and compassionate. And we only be keep the joy of the Father, so to assist us with thy grace. And we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for our and for us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, whom we the Holy Ghost, be your honor and glory in the world without end. Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of Son, Jesus Christ, to be glorious in all the world. Grant that by the ransom paid on the life-giving tree, we thy servants may attain to eternal life through the same Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth the reign with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Let's pray. We beseech thee, O Lord, that the gifts now offered in this heavenly sacrament may cleanse and defend us. That the intercession of Blessed Mary, the ever virgin Mother of God, of Blessed Joseph, of thy Blessed Apostles, Peter and Paul, a blessed agent and of all thy saints, that may render us free from iniquity and safe from all adversity. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord, who liveth and reigns with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, ever, one God, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with the Spirit. Peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Lord be with you. And with the Spirit. The beginning of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him. Without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which lighted every man that cometh into the world. <clears throat> he was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which are born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glorious word, the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. Depart in peace. Thanks be to God.